and other than such a vocabulary workshop level these Dr. Unified Leopard Ultimately Survivor Unlikely Survivor mm, Let's get started One a compass, a noun, two, a noun, a verb, arbitrary is an adjective, four is an present, an adjective, five is a catalyst, and a noun, six is an exodus, a noun, and facilitate is a verb, and incorrigible is an adjective, latent is an adjective, militant is an adjective, and a noun, morose is an adjective, and opaque is an adjective, paramount is an adjective, prattle is a verb and a noun, rebut is a verb, reprimand is a verb and a noun, precipitate is a noun, and slapdash is an adjective, stylon is an adjective, and succumb is a verb. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it, yo. The leopard, unlikely survivor. Now there is this very, very, very old saying that we all could agree on: that a leopard cannot change its spots. At least that's the famous, that's the famous proverb that we've all heard of. But it turns out that that statement is easily rebutted. It turns out that leopards are remarkably adaptive to animals whose latent ability to adapt to new situations and especially new habitats new habitats made them one of the most extreme one of the most extreme animals that will never probably never be on the, the extinction list. Now there's a paramount factor now, the, um, and paramount factor is in these leopard success is its diet. As cats are usually pricky on what they say, it seems almost arbitrary, and I have to agree on that. On what they eat, they, those include baboons, lizards, insects, and antelopes. These are all possible meals. They are not picky as long as it's meat. The cats whose diets are limited to just a few animals and limited to living in just a place will most likely die off before it's even started. Uh, also, it means that they, those animals who only have limited diet have only one or two options, exodus or death. Polar bears, for example, can only live on the polar regions, the North Pole. Possibly the South Pole, but how will they even get there? And their habitats are starting to, well, warm off. They're, it's melting away. The leopards are extreme, are excellent hunters. When hunting leopards, so they rely on the accomplice from their own species, as they are basically, since the animal is an incorrigible hermit that prefers a solitary existence. And by that meaning, that guy just likes to be alone. The leopard's jaw is so powerful that it can, well, grab anything that's even bigger than its size and probably just a bit, just a tiny bit as strong as it. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. Yes, this guy can run up to 35 miles per hour and so can these guys. And it's remarkable strength for silicates that it can actually carry three times its size weight worth of food and usually they hunt at night because of the opaque shadows that cover their shadows so that they can hunt at night in almost undetection although usually it is one of the best things to do is to do in day as long as you can eat at night and cool and rest at night they, some leopards do that they also do that brazenly in the day. However, they were also had a hand in the rise and fall of leopard populations through the fashion industry. When Jacqueline Kennedy in 1964 came in appearance with a leopard skin coat, that was a catalyst. <laughs> the demand for leopard skins almost annihilated the whole leopard species and the militants and ultimately successful campaign to in the 1960s and 1970s actually opposed, started opposing this and highly succeeded in making sure that the leopard population succeeded to well go on well some subspecies of leopards like the black panther 
right now, not the black panther, that's just an example of subspecies. Yeah. Well, some subspecies and have some stagnant population growth or are even close to extinction. It is very unlikely that these leopards will succumb to extinction anytime soon. They will prattle. They will prattle and uh, reprimand almost anything that could happen. Their servitude and slapdashes will not even make sense at all. They're not slapdash, but yeah, that's all I'm saying. And that is the end of today's episode. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Sign out. Peace.